Hello, this is an update about my software for embedded SDR platforms. There is now a web page with some documentation and downloads. So in this video I will show how to run it on the Pluto SDR device. And since this is the first public release, it probably won't work for everyone, but I will try to give an idea of how things are supposed to work under the hood and how to diagnose problems. Finally, I will demo the multi-channel receiver with a scratch. Okay, one way to run your own software on the embedded ARM processor of the Pluto is to modify the firmware that is stored in flash memory. But this is a lot of work and there are at least two simpler options. In the first approach, I load the software from a USB drive. So typically this would require a USB on the go adapter cable, a USB hub, and a USB to Ethernet adapter. Or you can use an integrated device, which is a bit more compact. Now when I plug the USB drive, the software will load automatically and it will flash the blue LED briefly to indicate that it is ready. The nice thing about this configuration is that it can run unattended because the software will reload automatically every time the Pluto reboots. Now I can connect with any browser, for example with a smartphone over Wi-Fi and Ethernet. And I have bookmarked the URL with the IP address here. Okay, this is the main web page. It shows a list of activities, which are actually uh, just hyperlinks with parameters to a small number of SDR modules. The parameters specify frequencies and other details. So for example, I can run the broadcast FM demo again. So this was the first approach with a USB drive. Here is the second approach with the Pluto being used as a USB peripheral to a computer. It doesn't need any special hardware but it requires a bit of typing. And now we can connect with the web browser on the same computer. And we get the same web page. Now if something doesn't work, for example the audio playback, you can look at the bottom of the page where there is console output of all the commands that run on the Pluto device. So if there, there is any error, it will show here. Let's try another view. can run the waterfall a bit faster. In the portable configuration here, the smartphone connects to the Pluto over USB, but the software still needs to load from a USB drive. 
So this is a variation on the first approach, not on the second. And it relies on the USB tethering function of the phone. And this is how it's done. Here is another demo of multi-channel FM demodulation. I am listening to the 16 channels of the PMR446 band, which is a European band for short-range and licensed mobile radio. Uh, you'll see what happens when I play with these toy walkie-talkies. Testing channel 2. Testing channel 1. Testing channel 2 I should mention that I had to manually configure the frequency correction in the Pluto because the channel spacing is only 12.5 kHz Also, someday I will add a low pass filter to improve sound quality and I will reduce audio latency with better streaming protocols Okay, that's all for today. Bye.